guys, Pookie and Buddy, and today I am responding to a request to talk to you about um, how to prepare for the first time you go to see a therapist. So if you've never been to see a therapist or a counsellor before, then it can be quite daunting. So hopefully these tips will help you to understand a bit more about what to expect and how to prepare and that kind of thing. So number one, hey Buddy. Number one is to understand that um, therapy isn't like it kind of looks in the movies and stuff. So you're not going to arrive and be expected to kind of lie on a couch with someone just sat there going, and how did that make you feel? So yeah, number two, that's an important thing to understand that um, regardless of what type of therapy or counselling you are doing, the most important part about it and the thing that's been found to kind of have the biggest impact on anything at all is the um, what we call the therapeutic alliance. So basically the relationship that you build um, with the therapist or counsellor um, and that's very important but it does also take a little while so you wouldn't necessarily expect to walk into your first appointment and find that by the end of it you know everything's changed and you're skipping out the doorway it's going to take a little bit of time um, number three is to, to actually prepare to have some idea about why you're going what you're hoping to get out of the session why you think you're there um, any questions that you might have so kind of do yeah just do a bit of thinking before you go along rather than just sort of rocking up and hoping for the best um, as with most things if we prepare um, better then we tend to get more out of it and with therapy either you're going to be paying for it or else uh, you're you might be there um, on, on the NHS or as a result of kind of medical insurance or something and it's going to be some sort of limited so there's usually some sort of limiting factor whether it's your income or how many sessions you're allowed to have um, so it's really good if you can try and get the most out of each and every session so preparing really helps with that um, number four is it's important to understand that your therapist isn't your friend so you might build a relationship with them you might get to know them a little bit they might certainly get to know you pretty well over time um, but they aren't going to be your friend they're not going to be someone that you're ever going to hang out with outside of the session um, and they are probably unlikely to answer many questions about themselves Next one is um, your therapist, counsellor, definitely wants to be there. So sometimes there can be this concern, particularly if your self-esteem is very low, um, that the other person in the room is just there because they're being paid. Um, believe me, these professions are not ones that you do just for the money. These are generally kind of vocational, you know, someone who's gone into it because they really, really want to help other people. Uh, it's, it's a waste of your time to be constantly kind of questioning and doubting that. Um, and I say that as someone who has spent a huge amount of time uh, questioning and and doubting that next one is uh, they don't know all the answers so you can't expect them to give you a magic bullet um, if you have ended up in sort of talking therapy or counseling then it usually means that there are some underlying issues that you need to work through that's going to take time there isn't going to be a simple answer um, but you will find that um, if you engage with the therapy and you get engaged with the process and you try it hardest um, that it's likely that things will get better over time um, but yeah no there's no there's no magic bullet if um, there were kind of some sort of magic wand or, or pill that would make this all better then um, someone would be making millions and millions of pounds out of it and um, I would be um, kind of clutching their ankles and never letting go. So the next tip is to ensure that you are ready to feel big stuff. So when you go through therapy, then you will feel lots of feelings, perhaps for the first time. You might be someone who's been quite emotionally guarded in the past. You might have various things that you've never explored or talked about. Um, and so you're likely, yeah, it's likely to evoke a lot of feelings that you you haven't allowed yourself to experience in the past. Um, all therapists tend to have tissues to hand, uh, be prepared to cry. They're quite used to it, that's fine. Um, but there might also be some laughter there too. There's usually a whole range of different thoughts and feelings that go with each session. And you might find that as you relax into it, and you get to know your therapist better that even just as you walk in the room that you begin to sort of stir up some of those feelings um, they won't all be positive but it's so important that we allow ourselves to yeah kind of run that whole gamut of emotions uh, it's certainly something I'm having to learn very slowly to become more comfortable with um, but it, it is important and um, we have feelings for a reason and you know blocking them off tends to have relatively negative consequences which is why we end up in talking therapy um, but because you're going to evoke those uh, big feelings, then it's great if you can plan something for afterwards. Read your favourite book, go for a coffee, something basically that, that allows you to kind of carry out a bit of self-care because it can really take it out of you. What I wouldn't do is kind of try and squash your therapy session in lunchtime between big meetings at work or something. Uh, that doesn't tend to work so well. What's really good is if you can give yourself a bit of processing time, a little bit of time to, to let it settle, um, to be kind to yourself and just allow your thoughts to, to to process uh, after the session and um, that can be really helpful and it might be that there's someone else in your life that you like talking to about this stuff and sometimes you know saying to them oh is it okay if I give you a call afterwards or can we grab a coffee and um, that can be really helpful too it can be nice to get another another perspective it just depends on who you are and what your friends are like and stuff
Um, next is engage. So you will get you know a limited number of sessions most likely um, and you will want to make best use of your time so try and really engage with the process it can be really hard it's possibly one of the harder things that you'll ever do um, but it's also one of the most worthwhile things that you can ever do and the use of this time is one of the best investments that you could make if you are in need of the therapy um, and so the better that you engage with the process then the more you'll get out of it it really is very that you you put in the more that you get out um, and you need to, to kind of make sure you're doing it at a pace that you're comfortable with um, and, and work with your therapist to ensure that that's the case and it's not having too much of a toll outside the sessions but yeah being able to actively engage uh, is is really important um, and then finally my final tip is actually this sounds really weird but try and enjoy the process it's really fascinating um, you'll learn more about yourself than you ever thought possible and it will also probably change how you view things that have happened in the past and your relationships with different people um, you'll find yourself over the course of the sessions kind of growing and learning and becoming a slightly different person with a bit of a different outlook on things hopefully you'll become a you know slightly happier healthier more emotionally stable person too um, but yeah it's a process and it's interesting and if you can yeah try try and enjoy it I hope that was helpful. Uh, please take a moment to comment below if you have any further advice or if you have further questions, if you have anything to add, if there's anything I said that you disagree with. Uh, please also um, subscribe to the channel, then you'll get alerted when I make new videos or when Buddy is next around. Um, uh, also, um, yeah, please like if you liked it um, and share the video with other people that you think might find it helpful. I'm still pretty new to YouTube and um, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes make a huge difference uh, to me, knowing whether or not I'm doing the right thing um, but also <laughs> but he's licking my hand and it feels horrible uh, but also serious face serious face serious face also uh, it helps the videos to kind of get to the top of the queue you know they kind of get come up in search more if you like them and share them and all that kind of thing so yes please subscribe like whatever see you again soon thank you